Oh, okay. This is sick. Yo, this castle looks insane. Look at that. Look at the, the fall down from the battlements there. This is actually a really defensive position for a castle. I didn't realize until we had this overview of it. See, there's one. Yeet! Oh my god, 120 damage. I'm getting another stone. Oh my god, they're already fleeing. Oh my god! <laughs> what was that? Did you guys see that? What happened? Get wrecked, son. Bring him down, brothers. There we go. We killed Sigger, who tried to mess with us. That'll teach her. Spear to the face. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. Welcome back, Battle Brothers, to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. In today's video, we're going to be capturing our own castle using some shifty methods. <laughs> Alright, so I just thought of a 200 IQ play, my friends. Obviously, the siege is still going on and they've just finished building the barricade and whatnot. But last time they left when the army showed up, and to be honest, I would have rather risked us all dying and had a battle, but... um. I thought maybe if while they're sieging this, the army's going to be distracted and come to their aid. What happens if we attempt to take of castle? While the army will probably come past us anyway, I don't know, it could be interesting. So I'm going to try and lay siege to this castle. <laughs> there's only, there's a lot of people defending it, but I just want to see what happens. Besiege the castle. So they have like 110 people, but many of them are just, you know, Castle Militar and the standard garrison. So we've got, you know, seasoned veteran troops that are going to be great at invading it. I reckon we're going to stand a pretty good chance. Um, I should probably build a battering ram, though, of sorts. Oh, we can build a battering ram here. Okay, okay, I see. So let's go ahead and cancel that and just build one battering ram. Um, and then we'll fast forward. Hopefully we don't get attacked by anyone. There's just peasants and whatnot running around. I do have a lot of food ready. Lots of villagers have come to investigate what's going on here. Um, we've almost built the siege camp, which is nice. Okay, so we've built the siege camp. I can now, if I want, lead the assault. But I'm going to actually build a battering ram before I do. And hopefully we can do it while they're sieging that castle. I hope. I reckon we should be able to take it, right? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh god, Tovir's coming over. And my... Okay, well, if Tovir fights me, that's fine. We've almost built our battering ram now. <laughs> and then we're going to attack the castle. <laughs> oh god. Okay, it's almost done. Come on. Tovir is still hanging around. He knows, he knows he's outnumbered. He's only got infantry, really. So we can destroy him with our range. Alright, the battering ram is ready. Let's lead the assault. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? This is crazy. I'm leading my own siege. I want to employ everyone with a battering ram, so that's fine. We can all just run over to it and begin the assault. Come on then, men. Push that battering ram up to the top there. You can already see a man on the ballista. They're firing arrows down upon us. There's one. Let's get off my horse here. I'm going to be very cocky. This is a very cocky move, so we've got to take some risks. Oh, I missed it, damn it. We'll try and defend our battering ram if we can. There we go, one's dead. Perfect. There's another guy all the way over there. I don't think I can hit him from here though. It was close. Right, I need to really get up there immediately. Let's try and take this guy out of the top. Let's try and push the ladder down. Okay, let's let's go. There we go. Oh I've got my spear! Oh dear! I can't- I didn't want to bring my spear. There's a load of men in there. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, look at the castle. There's loads of guys coming out. I just want to try and protect this area from all the men that could potentially come in. Right, one's down. Should I pick up his weapon? I don't know, it's probably not worth doing actually. 
Right, we've got loads of guys in here. Let's see if we can get our bell out. Oh, goodness. Bring him down. There we go. Get Rex on. Ha! Get Rex. There we go. Beautiful. We'll take this castle. We will take this castle. I have to kill every man in here. But these guys are still shooting down. Take them out. Gonna help our comrades. Protect them and they're coming up. Oh goodness. Who's that? Ah! No! They're pushing off the wall. Ah. Oh goodness. I might have bitten off more than we can chew here, boys. I'm just trying to defend my troops as they get up. There we go. Ah. Get back. Ah. Yes, come on. Might need to grab another shield soon. Oh my god, I'm losing a lot of mana. Whoa, Jesus. Yes, I got one of my veteran soldiers up. He's taking a lot of arrows, though, as you guys can see. Let's try and get these men off the wall here. Another one's down. Fantastic. God, are we winning? Oh my god, we're actually winning. We're taking severe losses. But my god, this is going well. <laughs> my veteran uh, soldier is doing so well. Let me grab another arrow here. There we go, he's dead too. How many people are left? There's a one on the ballista there. There we go, he's dead. Holy moly, we're doing it. We're taking a castle, guys. Solo taking a castle with 66 men. <laughs> oh, there's only a few men left. In this last keep here. Come on, boys. Charge! Charge! Oh, goodness. Someone's throwing a spear at me, are they? Where's that coming from? Wow. I think we actually... Oh, my God. The enemies are fleeing. We won the battle. We've taken our own castle. Look at the view from this castle as well. It's beautiful. For Skyrim. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Yes. Oh my god, I don't believe it. I actually kind of want to use this tribute here. I've never used this before. How much damage does this do then, Mike? Oh, oh, that's interesting. The reload's really slow, though. Okay, right, let's have a look. Oh my god, I lost. Oh my god, 16 men died. 17 are wounded. I killed... We killed 118 people in total. I killed 12 of them. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy moly. That was incredible. Oh my god. Look at all these prisoners I can take. Mercenary crossbow man can be upgraded. We need to upgrade everyone really. We lost a lot of men there. Let's take in all these veteran warriors as prisoner. That is the maximum amount of prisoners we can take. However, we got 72,000 gold now and we got a lot of weaponry from this invasion that we just did of castle has fallen to your troops you may station a garrison here to defend it against enemies who may try to recapture it continue we've only got 33 men left so let's get inside our castle quickly before we get attacked approach the gates request entry to the castle continue <laughs> there's a nobleman inside the castle what the hell we've also leveled up our athletic skill as well so we can carry extra arrows into battle on foot or extra throwing. Um, I'm going to obviously go for extra arrows because uh, my character is an archer. We can now resolve the owner of Of Castle. It will automatically resolve in 24 hours anyway. Okay, well, I obviously want to say that I'm going to be the lord. The lordship of this thief should go to Battleborn. I can put 100 influence behind it. Okay, let's do that then. My relationship with Ilgalfa will decrease. I don't care, mate. I want this. I fucking caught this solo, mate. If you take it, I'm going to come and kill you later. But ideally, you should have 300 influence before even attempting this. 
comes with two villagers as well. That's really good. Oh, yes. I got it. <gasps> we have a castle, my friends. With majority support. Because I took it, my friend. There's no way you were going to get it, is there? This is going to vote for myself, anyway. So we now own a castle. We have our first castle in the game. Because we were very ballsy. And we attacked it while they were attacking this castle over here. So, that's incredible. We've got our first castle. I can't believe it. Your settlement is under attack by Torvis' party. What a bastard. Alright, let me go and grab the rest of my men from the garrison. Then we're going to go out and absolutely destroy him. Alright, let's go and attack Torvir, you idiot. He's actually losing men as well. But here he is. What is he doing? You get over here, you... He knows he's outnumbered as well. We can catch him up though. He's pretty slow. We've got so many horses. <laughs> Danny, it's been a while. It has. I hear you took Ove Castle. You know we're at war. Surrender or die. I have no wish to fight you. I don't care. You're raiding my village, you idiot. You can bloody well die. I'll tell them to charge in a moment. First, I can see a horseman over here. What are you doing, buddy? Get over here. I'm going to let him throw his spears and we'll just shoot him with arrows. Can't see the enemy yet. Okay, well that horse is down. And you're about to be shot with another arrow, buddy. Oh, look how much more accurate I am now after that battle. That's perfect. Big fan of that. Right, where's the rest of your army then, buddy? I'm just going to go uh, move forward and scout them out here. Fighting in the forest isn't ideal. I was hoping they would come to me. Put our shield up. Okay, I can see the enemy over here. Alright, here they are. They're already shooting arrows at me. Soldiers! Footmen! I see the enemy over there again. They're just sitting there forming a shield yeah. right now. I'm going to go behind them. Alright, here we go. And now they're engaging us in combat. We have one mounted cavalry guy. Wow, really? They're already running away. Wow, they really didn't want to fight, did they? Their morale must be so low. It's not the first time I've beaten them in the last day, though, is it? I'm going to make sure they don't come back to raid my villagers. There we go. Victory for us. So we got lots of renown, some morale as well, which is nice. And hopefully I can take those men prisoner, put them back in my castle. <laughs> You're my prisoner now, buddy. I am at your mercy. I know you are. I know you are. You're going to fund my war effort as well. And we take all these prisoners? You're over your prisoner limit. You will temporarily keep your prisoners, but after some time, they will quickly escape your party. They'll also slow you down. Yeah, that's fine with me, dude. Um, and then we have a load of horses, wood javelins, northern leather cap. I've not seen that before. And also a cow. Well, thank you very much. I need this food, so that's very good. Thank you. Let's quickly visit our, our new village here. Check everything's okay. We can also recruit some troops, which we need to do for our garrison. Let's, so let's spend all our money on recruiting those men. Uh, and also let's buy some grain because the war effort was uh, rather difficult. Okay, let's head back to our keep then. Uh, we can go and explore that village in a moment. Um, but for now, I want to get back, put all my prisoners in jail. And then obviously we can recruit them eventually and we'll have just an army of prisoners. Oh god, there's a whole army coming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. I need help. Can we get into the castle before they siege it? Yes, I can. Okay, that's good. So we go to the dungeon, we can manage our prisoners and we can put all these men into prison uh, like so. Yeah. Yeet! Get wrecked. 216 damage. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to wait. Hopefully we'll heal some of our wounded and uh, I guess we're going to get under siege now. We have 100 men right now who are ready to battle if they do fight us. So let's go ahead and wait here and we're just going to heal up. Um, obviously, yeah, I'll join the defense of the castle. That's fine with me. 
we can choose to break out or parlay. I'm actually getting 146 gold a day now. I'm not losing money. And we're slowly getting Militer as well. So that's really good. Really good indeed. And my men are slowly healing. And I'm healing as well, which is very important. I'm actually really excited to defend the castle. So this is going to be sick, man. Oh my god, there's a big-ass army over there. Is no one going to come to my defense? Oh dear. If that army joins in... No, they're leaving. They might join in though. Oh dude, if they join in, we are so dead. So, pole arm skill, a standard bearer. 15% morale to troops in the formation. That's really good. Let's get a standard bearer then. And also our medicine can be upgraded. Increases character hit points by 10. That's really good. Increases character healing rate by 10%. Oh, I'd rather get the hit points for myself, to be honest. <laughs> definitely more useful on me I can heal my boot we'll probably get like a dedicated healer at some point anyway so doesn't really matter too much I could sally out and attack them before the bigger army show up which I'm kind of worried about looks like a few men are joining them there's 166 now however we have eight militer so that's very positive I actually swapped to building militer as soon as I saw the army appear 169, oh god, I just hope no one else joins them. Oh, one sec, they, some men left. Okay, your settlement is under attack. The army of S Sturgia is attacking us, guys. We have a lot less men than them. Hopefully, we can win. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to do a lot of damage. Okay, this is, oh my god, this is the defensive map. Oh, okay. This is sick. Yo, this castle looks insane. Look at that. Look at the, the fall down from the battlements there. This is actually a really defensive position for a castle. I didn't realize until we had this overview of it. So the enemy camp's down there. Um, it looks like they built a battering ram. Um, okay, so we've got our men here uh, on the walls ready to defend that area. Uh, there's men behind the gate, obviously... And also some men here ready to run down the rampart and defend it. Let's go ahead and also deploy because to be honest, I mean, this is all fine really. They're going to run up on the walls and start shooting. We've got quite a few archers luckily. To be honest, there's a lot of men here. I don't know if we need all of our men here, but we do have a catapult there to use. So let's go ahead and begin the assault. I'm so glad this is at daytime. Don't know why I'm on my horse. Let's dismount right now. I'm going to get on the wall with all my archers here. I can already see the men coming up here. I'm going to try and defend the main wall if I can. Unfortunately, we don't have any rocks here to drop on their heads, but because that would have done a lot of damage. But um, that would have been a nice thing to have made. Let's see if I can actually hit someone. There we go, 27 damage, very nice. Get wrecked, son. One down. Another one. Headshot. How is that not hitting him? Is there any more arrows around here? There's a fish harpoon. That's interesting. Oh, there are some stones here, so we can drop the stones on their head when they do finally come and attack us, which is good. Yes! Oh, that's one of the commanders! Oh my god, I can damage him from here and he's not moving. This is hilarious. Oh, he's moved a little bit. He's realised that he's getting hit by something. Oh my god, I've already killed their commander. Fantastic. This is going very well for us. He's aiming a spear at me. Watch out. I can see their men coming right up. Shoot him in the head. Another headshot there. 
They really should really put their shields up. I don't have any arrows. I don't know if I can refill them. I'm going to grab one of these stones and yeet it on someone's head right now. As soon as they come in, I'm going to get yeeted with a stone. Can't, okay, there are men coming up in the battlements as well. It's not good. See, there's one. Yeet! Oh my god, 120 damage. I'm getting another stone. My god. This is beautiful. Oh, yeet! Get wrecked. 216 damage. Guys, you should just help me with the stones here. Look at this damage. This crazy. Oh my god, yes. Look at that. Beautiful. They're getting destroyed, man. I'm kind of tempted to go down there and see if I can kill them myself. Right, let's get ready for them to come through the fence here. Here they come. Charge! There's that one guy sitting in the back here. What are you doing, mate? He looks a little bit stuck. Get Rex up. Oh, that's the enemy commander. Come on, let's go around behind them and kill them. Leonidas, you will die first. I really need some kind of uh, other weapon here. Oh, goodness, I need to get back inside my wall. That's what I need to do. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to run, run, run. Come and help me, brothers. Oh, God. Come on, help me. Give me that bloody axe there. This guy's going down. Get Rex. I'm a Viking now. Where is he? You better... Oh, yeah, he's dead now. There you go. I'm getting get this sword here. Enemies are fleeing. Oh my god, we actually won. Holy moly, that flank down the bottom there really did pay off. I can't believe we actually destroyed the enemy. I need to stop taking a spear into battle. That's what I need to stop doing, because that literally is useless. Oh, there's some enemies over there. What are they doing? I really like two-handed weapons. If I do another playthrough, I think I'd rather go two-handed, to be honest. But I just hate spears. Like, unless you're on horseback, they're just super annoying to use. We're at your mercy. You're my prisoner too, buddy. Anyone else want to attack me? Oh my god, there was... How many people attacked me here? That's the second noble. I've got like three nobles prisoners. Oh my god, I get to have all of your troops that you had prisoner? <gasps> wow. That has completely bolstered my forces. And we can also take all of these prisoners as well. Oh my god, let's upgrade the levels of these guys as well. I'm so glad we have all this money to spend. I th honestly thought we were going to lose the castle. I thought that was it. Oh my god, look at all these horses. You brought me some grain as well and some cotton. Oh, you're very nice. They didn't have much food left, did they? They must have been super low on morale. Oh, I've got some fine town boots. I can replace them for my other peasant's clothing. So somehow we defeated the army. We gained a tiny bit of influence, which is kind of weird. Um, how, why I didn't gain more to be honest with you. I also think I did I get some money? I've got a load of stuff anyway. Let's manage our garrison and we need to put a load of people in prison. Oh my god This is beautiful. Okay, so this is the prison Is this the one guard? Oh, there's two guards here. We have two Valadian infantry and a Kazate um, Outstanding guard here who actually I think that Kazate has actually been uh, Traveling with me ever since like the start of our let's play. This is a super long tunnel. Oh my god. Okay, apparently the captured men are down there. Hello there. A Valadian light cavalry soldier who's guarding the prisoners, apparently. Uh, there's a little house here, right? That's nice. And then, oh my god, it goes even deeper. I think the prisoner prisoners of Azkaban are probably less defended than this place. So this is where we keep all our noble prisoners. We've got quite a few with us. Let's have a chat to them. I'm not allowed to talk with you. Why are you not allowed to talk with me? Oh, hello there. Do you want to talk to me? 
Oh, you want to talk to me? Well, stranger, peace to you. What's your name? I'm Danny. I'm not allowed to talk to you, okay? Fine. <laughs> Wait, there's two people in here. I'm not allowed to talk with you, okay? Stop there. Who are you? I'm Danny. I'm not allowed to talk to you. <laughs> Why are none of the prisoners allowed to talk to me? I thought maybe I could, like, yeah, learn some, like, useful information about what their plans are or something, you know? Or should we- we could execute every single one of these people. We have three, four, five. We have five nobles from Sturgia. I mean, it would definitely stop them from creating other armies because our castle is the first line of defense right now. But this castle is such a key position in our battle. I could go and sell some of my prisoners, couldn't I? Oh, one sec, are you looting my village? Get back here. I'm gonna get you. There's also a hideout here. Should we attack the hideout? We've got like a load of people to attack it with. Let's go ahead and attack the hideout. I mean, it's already night time, so you might as well. Okay, come on then, brothers. Look at these guys. They are ready for a fight. Follow me then. Follow me, brothers. There's a poor soul up ahead. These are sea raiders, by the way, so these are like the best guys to kill if you want some uh, decent weaponry. Right, let's tell them to charge here. Watch out, kill him! There we go, he's dead. Right, are they dead? Well done, boys. Now follow me again. Oh, I can see another guy just there, working on the ship. Oh my god, I almost shot my own man there. Oh, Jesus, are you kidding me? He just ran right in front of me like an idiot. Oh, wow, how did he catch that arrow on his shield? I'm actually impressed with that. Right, follow me, boys. See another guy up there. Get wrecked, mate. Right, charge in, then. I don't want you to get too much damage. I'll eat your liver! Oh yes, headshot, look at that. Beautiful. They have a lot of throwing weapons over here. A lot of fishing harpoons to throw us. Right, he's dead. Right, follow me again, boys. It looks like there's a way up to the top of the mine here. Oh, there comes the harpoon. Right, attack, brothers. Oh god, that bloody hurt me. Stop that. There we go, he's dead now. I kind of want my arrows back, though. Right, there we go. Got some uh, harpoons to throw, at least. And my men are heading up to the top there. I'm actually going to tell them to follow me again. Up the hill we go. I can, I can hear people getting hurt, which doesn't sound very good, does it? Hello? Okay. Agna the Shield Maiden. Striking again. There's a lot of people inside here. Why <laughs> that guy's standing on the table there, look. Come at me, brother. Ten damage delivered indeed. Bring him down. Right, he's dead now. Where are they going? Do they know someone's there? I'm going to use an axe now. I think an axe will be quite fun. Wow, you can actually go all the way up the outside of this place. Oh look, there's a guy on watch. Look, he doesn't have no idea I'm here. Oh goodness, stay steady on there. Oh good. Good guy. Come on, kill him. There we go. I gained a level apparently. Any more people in here? I can't see anyone. Follow me, brothers, deeper into this cave. There's only a few men left, um, and we have a uh, full full, so I don't think we've actually lost a single man yet. Right, I found some, the last men then. Come on, brothers, take him out. Yeah! Yeah, he's already dead, nice. Finish them, brothers! Easy, 40 damage delivered, that was beautiful. Okay, so these are the bandit leaders. They look pretty well equipped. I don't really want to receive that giant axe to the face. So I'm going to go ahead and let my team deal with them because... Uh... Alright, come on then. There we go, he's down. Perfect. Oh, I'm almost dead. Goodness me. Very nice, very nice, boys. I think we lost one man. Hit with an axe. 
Okay, so one guy got wounded at the end, but we literally just killed them all, so that was really good. Waiting to the cover of night was uh, very much worth it there. And we got some more prisoners. Fantastic. And we got some male mittens. Wow, she's... Oh, yes, look at that. She's like full male armor now. She looks great. And there we go. We have loads of horses, man. We can even eat those if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and leave and head back to our castle because we actually have a lot of prisoners with us. Maybe I can recruit some more men quickly, actually. Uh, that's probably a good idea. Let's just spend all our money on men. There we go. We kind of need uh, to garrison this fortress because it's very likely that it's going to get attacked again. I wouldn't be surprised anyway. Okay, so when you capture your castle, uh, the first thing you need to do is go and manage it because people are going to be unhappy and the food's going to be going down, especially early on in your castle progress. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you upgrade the grainy, granary. So you can do this by just pressing these plus button and a little construction sign appears on it. Uh, production cost is 39, so it's going to take us a little while to get there because we have a daily production of 37. So it'll take a few days to build the granary. We want to upgrade that to level 3 immediately though, so we're producing lots of food. Because currently we're losing food and that means we're going to lose loyalty and prosperity. It's also going to go down as well. So the next thing you want to do is make sure that your de daily default is uh, set to irrigation. Basically this is what the village does while it's not building anything else. Um, so this gives it plus one food production. Uh, these are the most important things to focus on at the start. Just make sure everyone's happy. Uh, boosting a project speed by times two for a day costs 500 gold. So if you put money into the reserve, it will double your production speed. So this granary will be built even faster. And if you have the money to do that, obviously it means you can start getting into positive numbers really quickly, um, which is good because you're probably going to want to defend this castle very soon. You want people to be happy. You also see the granary completion one day, 0% currently. Uh, so it's not going to take long for it to upgrade, but we're going to carry on upgrading it to level three, like I said. The first upgrade alone is going to give 10 plus bonus to food supply stocks. Currently, we're getting minus three uh, because obviously, yeah, the, the castle's garrisoned and whatnot. So what we can do is just wait here and that's obviously going to take place over the next day. Um, and you can see the enemy armies going past there. We actually have a lot of their nobles prisoner currently, uh, which is quite funny. Now it's 94% complete, so it's almost done. So let's just carry on waiting. And also our steward skill is going to increase as well while we're doing these kind of activities. Uh, and you can choose to focus on that or not. There's so many ways of making money in this game. I've already done one video about how to make tons of money in trade, which is really fun, especially if you're not at war with anyone. Your settlement is under attack. Okay, let's actually leave and go and help our settlement. Ah, Siga, I see you there, you silly idiot. Hi there, who are you? Mate, you were just raiding my settlement. I'm Danny. I am Sigur of the Cullerving, a name you will have heard many times in the Sagas of the Sturgeons. I know your name. I hear you took off castle. I did indeed. You're outnumbered. Give up or die. I'm not outnumbered. Can you count? I have 70 people. You have 61. I mean, nine of your people are wounded, so technically I am outnumbered, but none of my people are wounded. Well, three of them are wounded. You have five cavalry and no range. Okay, that's great to hear. We'll fight. Very well, expect no mercy. It's important to defend our kingdom, my friends. We can't have these people, you know, messing around. Obviously, we're going to attack immediately. Ah, look at that beautiful open battlefield. I love it. I see the enemy coming across the field here. Oh, goodness me, someone just take take a hit or something. Right, I'm going to let my army do its own thing um, and fall back from those people while I just quickly deal with these. Right, let's see if we can ride them down. Ah, get wrecked. Throwing their spears, get back here. 46 damage, very nice. One dead. Oh, I just missed his head. All right, we got a lot of men coming in now. Oh, goodness. Don't want to get stuck here. Let's stay close to our infantry. We're about to charge in now. Perfect. Oh, my God. They're already fleeing. Oh, my God. <laughs> what was that? Did you guys see that? What happened? Oh, my goodness. 
Why are these men still charging in? Are they crazy? Get wrecked, son. Bring him down, brothers. There we go. We killed Sigur, who tried to mess with us. That will teach her. Spear to the face. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. So now you're at my mercy. You're my prisoner. Yes, you are at my mercy, aren't you? Ha ha ha. That's what you get. Thinking you outnumber me. Why don't you try some maths, huh? And we've actually got a bunch of prisoners we can add here. <laughs> so as you guys can see, we have a level 1 granary now. And we can build the next level. So now it's going to be level 2. And we spent quite a bit of gold on, you know, increasing the production value. But it's only going to take um, another day to build that. So that's, that's pretty good. And if you guys thought we made a lot from the prisoners, I just sold them everything we got from the war. And I think we had we had about 35 of these axes that are worth quite a bit of money too. So do you know what we made? 19,741 gold. That's almost 20,000. Enjoy those weapons, guys. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> oh my god, I'm almost at 100,000. All right, now we've got to go all the way back to our castle. Well, my friends, I really do hope you enjoyed this episode of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Give the video a like if you did. I really do appreciate it. And next episode, I think we're going to be focusing on capturing another castle and just waging war with the enemy in general because I know you guys really enjoy seeing that. But let me know in the comment section anything else you just want me to do more of on the Let's Plays. Anything you really want to see. Uh, and I'll try and focus on doing that too. Because I'll let you guys decide where this campaign goes next. If we decide to make war with Landia. If we decide to go and make our own kingdom and become traitors to these people. I'll let you decide in the comment section below. Uh, most interesting idea wins for sure. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.